sweet, smoky, and spicy. The peppery spread known as Ivar is a defining part of Balkan cuisine. Kako delikates, neko i kako glavna hrana. Throughout the Balkans, Ivar is more than just a gourmet snack. Every country claims to have the best recipe. Kulturološki, sociološki fenomen. To je sostavni del od makedonskoto DNK. So, what makes Ivar so special? How is it made? And why is it known as Balkan caviar? We went to the mountains of North Macedonia to find out. In the Angelo family's home, everything revolves around the popular red pepper paste. The Angelov swear by the juicy red pointed Kortovo Kapia peppers. It takes a full four kilos to make one kilo of good Ivar. The Angelovs run a small business producing Ivar following a traditional family recipe. The village of Palikora lies in the middle of North Macedonia. Many here have their own small bell pepper farms. But 300 days of sunshine a year are not enough to bring out the typical smoky taste of Ivar. This comes from a special wood-burning stove used to thoroughly roast the peppers. Once they're softened, the peppers are painstakingly stripped of their burnt skin by hand and put through the food grinder, piece by piece, for hours on end. И он си има отреден период, не можеш да го работиш в февруар, до май, кога нямаме, кога нямаш суровина. През цяло зимо се користи за зимница, за мезе со ракичка, за ядење, за појадок. Да, нешто традиција што се одржа со години. The peppers are seasoned with oil, salt and vinegar and cooked for an hour and stirred constantly. The winter food is ready, at least for the Angelovs. They make their Ivar mainly for themselves and sell it in small quantities to their neighbors. Generations of people in the Balkans have argued not only over who created Ivar, but what ingredients go into the popular relish. One thing seems clear. The word Ivar comes from the Turkish Haviar, which means salty fish roe. In other words, caviar. Some people say Ivar looks like red caviar. And the taste for this Balkan caviar has spread far beyond the region. It can be found in many fine gourmet shops. One among the many producers is Pelagonia. Following an old North Macedonian recipe, Pelagonia wouldn't hear of garlic in their Ivar, as is often the case in other Balkan countries. Still, their factory produces different varieties. Нашиот пелагони Ивар ние го правиме во комбинација со пиперка и модрио патлижан, затоа што модрио патлижан дава посебна арома и текстура, што малку се го одвојува од класичниот кој што се прави од чиста пиперка. But just as the Angelovs do in the countryside, the team here roasts, peels, and stirs the ingredients all together, and much of the work is done by hand. The company exports their Ivar products to 20 countries. Ние сме посебно задоволни што добиваме фидбек од нашите клиенти надвор од Македонија, кои што добиваме иновации како Ајверот може да се користи во еден во голем број на случаеви. Може со на тост, може во борито, може да се користи добивме интересна комбинација со лосос и со шампањ. Го го сервираат може со месо. Salmon and champagne are not part of a typical North Macedonian breakfast in the Angelov household. They have bread fried in oil, goat cheese, and olives. And of course, two varieties of Ivar, mild and spicy. And they wash it all down with a glass of homemade schnapps. I don't know, it's a Macedonian traditional way to be healthy for lozova, tikveška, rakija, and then it continues with... 
Ta je broj jedan. Moraš, znači, se, site sme si sobrani u ovoa današnjo vreme, brzo vreme na življenje, ne li? Sepak jedan pojadok s familijata je broj jedan. Site na, na jedno mesto da, 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 da se pojade. The family enjoys the various varieties of Ivar as part of their hearty breakfast in the mountains of North Macedonia. But the food doesn't sit heavily in their stomachs. Ivar is low in calories and considered quite healthy. All in all, it's an absolutely indispensable part of Balkan cuisine.